you know, whether it's sprinkling or dipping or something, you know. And churches have a lot of different opinions on the subject. And so we just want to make sure we line up with the Bible. So what we're doing here today is it's biblical baptism. Um, this is just, you know, of course, we don't have a baptism of the church. So we, we, you know, Walmart sold us this hot tub for cheap. And we just using mammoth water. There's nothing special about this. I'm not praying some prayer over the water. It's nothing. It's just water. So what this represents in the Bible is we find out in the book of Acts, you know, Jesus Christ died, buried, and resurrected. So every man's born into the planet a sinner, right? That's what the Bible says in Romans 3.23. And so every man's born in sin. So there was the law in the Old Testament, right? It's all the do's and don'ts, and nobody can keep the law perfectly, right? I'm not saying I'm a big speeder, but I'm pretty common to go about four mile an hour over the speed limit. That still makes me breaking the law, correct? So everybody is a sinner. Everybody. And this is why the law proved that we need a savior. We need a rescue. So Jesus Christ, God sent his own son down, took the sins of the world, and he bled and died for you and me because the wages of sin is death. So Jesus Christ took our death. Then he resurrected the life. And so being a Christian is knowing Christ. We place our faith in him, right? That's how you become a Christian. And so, what, by the way, the two greatest fears in all the world, the first greatest fear is death. Well, Jesus Christ took that for you and me, right? Jesus took that. The second greatest fear in the world is what? Public speaking. Getting in front of people in public speaking. And so it's funny how somebody meets Jesus Christ and then all of a sudden, what do you do? You come forward. What is now personal and private today becomes public, right? It's public. And so what, what these folks are doing is when they're coming in, they're going to say, hey, I know Jesus Christ. Salvation is not getting dipped in this water, right? Hey, boys. Hey. Just sit down. You sit there, okay? Okay. No, hey, yeah, it is. You're good. Um, so what, what we're going to do is people that have met Jesus Christ, they're coming into this water to say, hey, I'm going to follow him now. They're publicly making a declaration. And, so, and then they're going to be in the water, and then they're going to go down, and that picture's a burial, you know. And so it's going to go under the water, a picture of being buried, and then they're going to come back. It's just what Jesus Christ did. So these guys getting baptized are just showing what Jesus did. He died, buried, and then he resurrected, right? And, so, and they're also saying that I'm going to be like Christ. I'm one of you. I am a follower. So these men today are going public with their faith because they already are saved, right? They already know Jesus Christ. So it's time for celebration for us in this church. These men are going to say, Hey, something's different here. I'm going public. I'm going to follow him. Is everybody any questions on this subject? Any questions, anybody? All right, let's do this. All right, why don't uh, Dakota, you come up first. Let you hold that. And uh, everybody, this is Dakota Ferris. He's been, uh, gosh, it's been a couple months now, close to a couple months that he's been coming around. Dakota, you tell us. What brought you to this place, to the, to the spot where you're like, man, I need to get baptized? Well, hi, everybody. <laughs> um, well, I was saved at 17, and after that, I kind of, well, I was more of an infant in my relationship, and I've had some trials, and I've had some hard times. Other people have had worse than I had, but... In my own mind, I've had pretty bad, and throughout that, I've always believed that somewhere along the way, I would get revealed to those who will help me in my path. Lo and behold, when I moved to Monmouth, sorry, I'm shaking a little bit, <laughs> but uh, moved to Monmouth, I got to meet Bo, my neighbor. Later on, I, uh, I know I couldn't do it myself. So I, I went and sought some help, and I didn't know what kind of help I'd need. And then I got to meet Carrie, 
who then was my doctor. <laughs> so then after that, um, making that, uh, that observation, it's like, well, then this is more than likely going to be the path I need to take. And I think, thank Bo and I thank Carrie for, uh, man, I'm shaking. <laughs> but uh, I'm very happy to get to be here in front of you guys today to get to proclaim that I'm, I'm, I'm here with you guys. <laughs> I don't really. That's good, man. That's good. So, yeah, like he said, I remember seeing you about probably a year ago. Well, you, come up, you come up and introduce yourself, and we had youth group going on that night at our house. And, uh, and since then, I've always told Carrie, I'm like, we need to have Dakota over for dinner. And it, it didn't happen. And I felt bad because we were just like, we've got to have him over sometime. And then uh, just in the last couple months, it all unfolded to where it just was natural. If you guys remember, he was at VBS almost every night helping out. He loved it. And it was, it was catastrophe that brought him to that point where he was like, okay, I got to get things right. There's so much chaos in my world. I know where I need to be. And he shared his salvation testimony. He made it very clear at 17, he was born again. And I remember asking you about that. And uh, I just loved hearing your story. And now he's getting ready to start discipleship. He says, I, I know what I need to do. I I'm going to get after it and I got to get baptized first. He's never been baptized, so he's ready to follow Jesus. So, you ready for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I think I can touch this. All right, Ronnie, you're up, dude. Guys, Ronnie, um, Ronnie just got back from camp, and it was such a delight seeing you at camp, just having the time of your life. We got to celebrate his birthday at camp, and uh, so Ronnie, do you anything you want to share, man? Just like what what brought you to this point where you're like, I got to be baptized. Uh, I would say what brought me to the point to wanting to be baptized is probably. Uh, during camp, like, before I'd fall asleep, I'd usually just think that, uh, that while getting saved in February, I, uh, wanted to get baptized, and I wouldn't be here if it weren't for my, uh, good friend Michael. He ain't here right now, but, yeah, and I'm also, uh, I'm also grateful for uh, the camp because it was really it was really fun and uh, I enjoyed it a lot and uh, I feel like I learned a lot more about the Lord than I had in the past and I could just say it was just. Uh, it made me learn to not uh, take pride in myself, but take pride in helping others and not having such a big ego to where I would do stuff for myself and myself only. And to take a step back and look at the bigger picture, and yeah. I think the Lord has uh, has been really speaking to me uh, these past couple months. So, yeah. That's awesome, man. God, God is at work in this guy's life. And <clears throat> if you were to hear his story, some of you guys would know, my goodness, there, there's some things he's been through that 
uh, no 15 or 16 year old would ever go through. And it's amazing how God is even going to use that. He used it as you were sharing it with me the other day. But I just love seeing Ronnie put his hands up during music because uh, what he just told us now, he's for real. He's not just making this up. God really is teaching them, and he shared this at camp, to not be so self-centered, get out of my comfort zone and be around other people, and serve others, not just myself. So thanks for sharing that. And by the way, he's the next pro football player from MCBC. If you could see his arm, dude, you can throw, man. That was awesome. Come on in, man. We're excited about Ronnie and what God's going to do as he grows in the faith and how uh, it's going to spread. It's going to spread like a wildfire.